Welcome back. Thank you for watching. These are the latest updates in the crisis surrounding North Korea. The US Navy patrol sent a guided missile destroyer close to man-made islands constructed by China in the South China Sea around Mischief Reef. The incident involved the USS Dewey, an Arleigh Burke class destroyer capable of offensive or defensive capabilities with a state-of-the-art radar system, ballistic missile defences and Tomahawk missiles. Although these waters are heavily disputed and are at present classed as international waters, China has said they have indisputable sovereignty, trying to lay claim to the majority of the South China Sea. They have recently transformed a number of underwater reefs into man-made islands and although they have stated this is for civilian purposes only, some of these are known to contain radars, runways and weapon systems. The US said they had the right to conduct Freedom of Navigation Operations or FONOPS as it is in international waters and in fact the US Navy regularly conducts operations in the South China Sea viewing it as necessary to keep the peace and critical to national security. A Chinese colonel from their defence ministry confirmed that two Chinese Navy frigates had approached and warned off the American destroyer. He also stated that this type of action by the US would only motivate the Chinese military to enhance its capabilities and could risk sparking an incident at sea. China denies it is militarising the South China Sea. However, at least three of these islands now contain air bases, radar and missile defence systems. They also now give the Chinese Air Force the ability to operate over a huge area of the South China Sea. In other news, the previous Director of National Intelligence under Barack Obama has recently said that there was no way to knock out North Korea's nuclear capabilities in one go. This comes not long after the US Secretary of Defense admitted that a conflict with North Korea would be, quote, tragic on an unbelievable scale. Despite the US having over 2,000 nuclear missiles and the North having up to 20, an attack by the US would most likely still provoke a devastating response. A massive military bombardment would rain down on South Korea's capital Seoul. A large number of decoy missiles would be launched to confuse defence systems. Possible portable nuclear missiles that had remained unspotted would be launched, giving South Korea no warning and Japan only a matter of minutes, while thousands of troops pour across and under what is the most heavily militarised border in the world through numerous underground tunnels. There is no doubt the North would eventually be crushed, but not before causing an unthinkable amount of death and destruction. And that's without taking into account the very real possibility of escalation, drawing in China and Russia. Despite Donald Trump today outlining a four-point diplomatic plan for dealing with North Korea, that does not include a military option, he has also stated that Kim Jong-un is a madman with nukes that needs to be dealt with. With a huge amount of forces now virtually surrounding North Korea, a lot will depend on the actions of the chubby dictator. The US has two carrier groups in the area, F-16 and F-35 aircraft, as well as reconnaissance aircraft continually monitoring the situation, 25,000 troops training with the South Koreans, a state-of-the-art anti-missile system deployed on the border, two nuclear submarines off the North Korean coast, and a special forces group that took out Osama bin Laden, all standing ready to be used if necessary. And with Kim Jong-un liable to order another ballistic missile test, or another nuclear test, there are plenty of things that could tip the balance. Let us hope it doesn't come to that. The world is watching. Check back for further updates as the situation develops. And please hit that like button.